Hello everyone, welcome back to another trip to the bins. I'm going to take you guys along with me. Today is my day to go to the bins for as long as I want. So I'm very excited. Normally I get to go for like two hour times uh, while my daughter's at school during the week. But um, on the weekend I get to go for as long as my heart desires. So let's see what we can find. I'm super excited. Um, if you're new here, my name is Danielle. I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. I like to go to the outlet, buy clothes, flip them online for profit. That's what I do for my job. Um, I love it. I'm going to take you guys along with me. I make videos and I just kind of show you what I'm picking up and just my adventures with thrifting and being a reseller. So if that is your jam, please like, and subscribe. <laughs> um, Anyways, the coffee is kicking in. Let's go to the bins and I will take you guys along with me. Let's go. Okay, we are here. It's a Sunday morning. It's not as busy as I thought it would be, so that's nice. Um, I'm going to try to record as much as I can in here. I know I'm not the greatest, but I'm going to try for you guys to make, you know, I just want to make a cool little bins trip video. So let's see how this goes. I will show you guys what I find along the way. And then at the end of this little intro thrift with me, I will do a haul video of everything that I found today. And I will tell you what I um, am hoping to list it for, what it will sell for, etc. Okay, let's go. for this Rafi, hoping I find it, but look what I found. Can you believe it? I cannot. I found some great shoes. I'm excited to show you guys. Is my cart after one full rotation, all the way from that back wall around and these ones. <laughs> a lot of work, but I have a full cart. This is all stuff I need to run comps on and double check. A lot of new to me brands. Um, there's some smart wool in here. That was exciting. And a few other ones I can't remember right now. But this is a good sign for my first rotation. I have no idea if this is real. No idea. This is plastic. So I don't know. But if it's real, holy crap. $73. I was in there for like six hours, you guys. This is a cart full. So that's good. Found a lot of really good things. I can't wait to show you guys. Stay tuned for the haul. Hello, hello. Welcome to the haul portion of this video. It's been a few days. So this trip to the bins was amazing. I found some really good things and I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, Let's start with the big shebang. As you guys saw, the free birds. Like, can you even? <laughs> they are in amazing condition. This is the Cheyenne style, which is a more sought after style. And this colorway with this kind of like gray green leather with the brown straps is also very rare. So, that's very good, <laughs> very good for me. So these are online listed, used for 220, which is what I have mine at. They are a size eight. They are so cute and in really, really great condition, like I said, but um, yeah, comping this out, that's what others were pricing these at. As far as sold, it's around the same amount, like 150 to 200 is what they were selling for and 
Yes, I'm very excited. I started at the high end and I'm just, you know, I'll go down in increments, you know, if they're not selling or getting much attention. But these have so far a lot of attention and I can't believe I found them. It blows my mind. People, so many hands were on these. This, that shoe rotation had been there for, you know, uh, it, it had just came out, but I let everyone do their thing. And then I went in there and nobody wanted those apparently, or maybe they just didn't know. I don't know, but I happily, happily took them. Um, next up is a brand to be on the lookout for. It's Pedro Garcia. These are, um, they're made in Spain, genuine leather, very, very nicely made. These retail for over a hundred for sure, probably in the 200, 250 range. Um, these are a size six, so they are on the smaller side, which may mean that they sit a little bit longer than maybe a size eight or nine. So these I have up for $80 and that's genu generally what they resell for pre-owned. These are in great condition, no toe wear, very little wear on the bottom. So um, yeah, I will just kind of see what offers roll in with them being a small size, a size six. I'm definitely open to offers and, you know, taking what people are wanting to pay for them. So with the outlet, generally, especially since I hit the 25 pound mark, everything kind of averages out to about a dollar or $2 per item. So the shoes I count as $2 for the pair, um, unless they are like a bulkier, heavier pair of shoes. So um, the Freebirds were probably like $4 just cause they're bigger and heavier. Those ones are probably about $2. So $2 into hopefully 80 would be cool. But with my cost of goods being so low, I am open, you know, the offers that come in and what people are willing to pay for, I will definitely be open to. Okay, next up is a pair of Free People booties. These are really cute, just kind of suede studded and I like that they're flats. There's no heel. So that's nice if people aren't wanting any heel. Um, but yeah, this is a fairly popular style. I don't know. I mean, the sell through rate was okay, but, um, these may take a little bit. I've noticed that my free people shoes, they kind of take a little bit to sell. <laughs> these are a size 38. So a size US eight and the suede is a little bit worn, but I think that's factory made. You can kind of see right here along the toe, but they are so cute. I love them and in really good condition. I think I have those ones up for 40. Um, next is a Pendleton. This is a vintage wool hat. Super cool. There are a few moth holes along the bill, which I did note in my listing, but this colorway um i found zero listed on ebay i did find others in this style but a different color that were selling in the 40 to 50 dollar range so i have mine at 40 and um yeah we'll see how that does okay um that was it for shoes and accessories and stuff now we're gonna get into the clothing items um i think the majority of these items are listed they should be anyway um first up is a dutch bros graphic tee. I always pick up Dutch Bros gear if they are in good condition. Um, what does it say? Stay true, stay you. This is a size small. Um, I have this up for $19.99 and I actually just picked up another one size large. So I have two of these guys now. I love it when that happens. I just hit sell similar and I was able to just easily post the large based off of that listing. Um, next is Kindred Bravely. This is a sports bra slash nursing bra. It has the little clasp there or at the straps that you can undo. Um, that's what the website was, um, you know, describing this as was a sports bra, but also for postpartum breastfeeding that sort of stuff as well. 
Um, this is the Blue Ombre, which is a sought after colorway and it's a size large. I think I have this one up for $19.99. I'm not expecting too much for that. Let's see. Next is an Athleta. This is a super heavy knit cardigan sweater. It's kind of like a moto style. It has the asymmetrical or, you know, the zipper towards the side. It's a size small. Um, I forgot what it's called, but it is a newer style and it's really cute. Let's see if it has um yeah it is uh 45 percent merino wool so a nice heavy sweater maybe not for summertime but later on down the line that'll be great um this one just sold actually yesterday for 19.99 it is an aloe kind of open back sweater let's see where's the aloe logo i mean i'm sure you guys know what that is but i literally cannot find it anywhere <laughs> oh my gosh am i blind apparently okay well it's aloe <laughs> it's just a sweater an open back that one sold for 19.99 i need to get that shipped out Next is Angel of the North, which is an anthropology brand. If I would have found this five years ago, it would have been like the jackpot, hitting the jackpot. Nowadays, these sell for maybe $20. But this is a really cute pink shade, size medium, and the sell-through rate was still pretty good. So these, this brand still sells. It still has a following. Um, you won't get much out of it, but... Let's see. And this one's linen, so that's a bonus as well. Next is a pair of Lucky Brand, which I never pick up Lucky Brand jeans. It's a newer newer tag, Lucky Brand. These are the High Rise Skinny Bridget. And I picked these up because they are basically brand new. They are very stretchy. They're a high rise, dark wash, and practically brand new it does have a little bit of a flaw on the pocket it looks like it just got snagged on something but it doesn't go through or anything you know what it is it's probably where the tag was on the back pocket hmm, I don't know I bet I could fix that but they are a size eight so really great size I think these are probably sold at like Costco <laughs> But I wanted to give it a shot. The sell-through rate on the Bridget style was pretty good. So I have them up for, I think, $24.99. And that's kind of like a, a trial and error sort of thing. Uh, we're going to see how those do. And if, if they do well, if they sell within, you know, a month, I will continue to pick up the newer styles at the bins. But, yeah, we'll see. Next is a Columbia... Man, sorry, I feel like it's not focusing very well. <laughs> Columbia, this is a men's just button up. It's the Omni Shade Sun Protection. It's a size large. This one, um, and I got another one too, I think is in here. Uh, they're in really, really nice condition, basically brand new. And I have not picked up Columbia in a while, but I feel like the men's definitely do much better than any sort of women's Columbia. And I have them priced at like $19.99, so I'm not expecting much for them, but I'm hoping that they will be a, a quick flip, especially since it's getting into the, that weather, um, you know, summertime. Next up is a brand called Tyler Bow. I'm sorry my camera is not focusing right now. I've tried to film this video so many times and it's not focusing on the labels, so I apologize. I'm so sorry. Um, I have no idea what's going on, but please forgive me. <laughs> my next video, I will make sure you can see, you can actually see what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, maybe I'll post pictures of the labels. That is crazy. Um, anyways, this is a linen silk blend dress. Tyler Bow is a great brand. Um, 
it's one that I just learned about actually. So I hadn't, I had seen this tag before and I've picked it up before, but it had been a while. So, um, picking this up, I knew it was a good one. I did not check comps on any other of his dresses or clothing besides this style of dress. And this one is one of his more popular styles. It has like a ruffled neck. Um, and I have this one up for 45. We will see how it does. Oh, it's a size medium, by the way. I'm really bummed out about my camera not working. I've been meaning to film this video for days now, and then I finally do it, and my camera's not working. Okay, next is a vintage New World Order, which is WWE, I think? Just wrestling? Um, this is on a Toltex tag, which is vintage. It's a size large and it is not single stitch, but this is super cool. I have this one up for 45. It has like three watchers already and I'm hoping it sells quickly. This was an amazing find. It was, um, during a new rotation, it was sitting right on top after quite a few people had gone through the bin and I snagged it up, not knowing what it was, it just felt really nice. And then to my surprise, it was Lululemon. So this is a quilted pullover, so nice. Um, what is the size? I, would, I can't remember off the top of my head. Let's see if I can find it really quick. But there it is, it's a size four. It's a newer style and it's so cute. I love it so much. I wish it was my size, but um, I feel like this should be worth so much more, but the resale value of Lululemon's like pullovers or thicker sweaters has gone down so much. I couldn't believe it. This one's selling for like maybe 40 and I'm like, I am so used to them, you know, back in the day, I feel like they were selling for much, much more. So this one I have up for 50 and yes i am hoping it goes to a new home soon it's so cute it's in like really really good condition i wish it was my size <laughs> step is a brand called cotton neat cotton ink cotton ink sorry i can't really see it <laughs> um it is a it's a bra it's an organic cotton line they do bras wire free um just you know a more health conscious i guess bra option and they do sell them on amazon for not a lot and i didn't realize that when i first bought, got it at the bins but i have this one up for 19.99 it's a 38c i think if you are interested sorry this video man yeah 38c I'm hoping that when I transfer this to my computer, everything's fine, but <laughs> if it's not, I am so sorry and please forgive me. The next video you will be able to see clearly, okay? <laughs> All right, next up is an Athleta. This is just a pullover hoodie. It's super boxy and cozy. Again, my phone is making this look washed out, but it's not. Um, it, I mean, it does have some normal wash, but it's not what it looks like on there. It's a small, and it is a newer style Athleta. It's just a really cute kind of boxy cropped hoodie. That one I have up for, I think, $24.99. Next is a Smart Wool. Oh my gosh, I don't, I'm sorry. Hopefully you're just listening to this video and you can kind of see what I'm showing you and not worrying about what the tags look like. But Smart Wool is a great brand to find. These resell for a good amount. Have a really, really good um, sell through rate. The one thing though is that you have to inspect every inch of these because they are prone for holes because it's wool. So always, always double check. This one has a whole bunch of little holes purposely. So that was fun to try to search for, you know, other holes. 
and there are none so that was awesome this i have up for i want to say 30 or 40. it's a size small it's a women's all right you guys this was the find of the century and i don't know how or what was happening on this day but i was looking through a bin and i found this if you know you know that this is the fendi logo and there was nothing else on it it's a size 40 which i'm sorry you can't even see this is terrible but i saw this in a bin just chilling by itself and i was like there's no there's literally no way that that's real fendi there's no way i looked in the bin for the bottoms i couldn't find it so i left it there like five minutes later a new rotation came out i poked my head in there like i sometimes do just to see if i can find anything really quick and i see this shiny little holographic thing at like the bottom of a bin so i kind of lean in and i pluck it out and it is fendi like the whole shebang i hope you can kind of see this um so i i grab it you can't even see i'm so bummed out <laughs> um and i'm thinking there's no way there's no way this is real absolutely no way and it turns out it's real it's real i couldn't believe it so this bikini this fendi bikini was just at the, the goodwill outlet in two different spots what are the chances that i find this and then i find this and i ran back to that bin and thankfully this was still there thankfully and same size they're both a size 40 which is a us4 i believe how how i was almost hysterical <laughs> i have never found anything like this in my life and i took it home not knowing if it was real um i did uh so much research online i looked at others that have sold there are a lot of fake fendi bikinis this one is not this one sold for 185 which may not be very much I had it listed for 300 someone offered 185 and I just said okay I'm taking it <laughs> I'm taking it and yeah can you believe it because I can't I cannot but that was an amazing sale and I'm so so happy overall this this trip was just full of moments like that where I was like what what is happening <laughs> it was just a really good day Okay, next up are a vintage, this is uh, Carter's Watch the Wear. This is just a vintage cargo short. Um, they're like a carpenter short. There's no size tag. I was guesstimating they were a men's 30 or 28, but women can also wear them. It'd be super cute. These, this brand, um, does resell for quite a bit but there's not very many of them listed sorry i'm losing my train of thought here <laughs> there's not very many listed but i have mine up for 35 i believe but some of the items from this um carter's watch the wear like the the full length carpenter jeans those ones do go for quite a bit and just make sure they have the size because not knowing the size of that is super super iffy um, next is a Title IX Squirt XL. This actually just sold today for 30, so that's awesome. And I picked this up based off of the print and the size. Um, the selfie rate was not the greatest, but I knew that with the size, a larger size and that really cute print, that they would sell quickly. All right, next is a fun find. These are on running. This is a, a shoe brand. I'm sure you guys all have seen the shoes, but I had no idea they made any sort of clothing. These are a pair of men's lightweight running shorts. I found four pairs of these all in the same bin, stacked on top of each other. Like somebody just went through and donated their whole collection. <laughs> so they are 
These ones are a, I think there was one small and like three mediums. Yeah, these are a medium. And then these are a small. But um, two of them already sold in a bundle. They were a blue pair and a gray pair. Um, he bundled for 28 each and combined shipping. So that was awesome. So finding these was really, really exciting. Next is a new to me brand CVG, which is like an athletic wear. They mostly um, do really like fun, crazy printed leggings, but these are just a pair of black jogger pants. They are a women's medium and I have them up for 35. I've gotten a few low ball offers, but I know that these are reselling for, you know, they're around that $35 range. So I'm holding out for that and hoping I get, you know, somewhere, somewhere close to that would be nice. Next up was a fun find. This is Jams World, which is a really fun brand that has a lot of funky prints to it. Very tropical Florida vibes. This is a men's size XL. And this print is a huge bolo, just a rare print. And this is up for $150. I can't even believe it. Um, it has the parrots on the back. Some of these prints for from jams world will go for that amount and this is one of them i've never found one before um but you can this one did not have the style because the tag was completely faded so i had to use google image to pull up you know others that have sold this shirt um but normally on the style tag or the material tag it'll tell you the style and you'll use that to pull up um, so I would go to eBay, type in Jams World, and then the style name, which would be on the tag, and then you'll pull up all the items that have that print on it. And then that will help you kind of determine if it's one of those rare bolo pieces, but this one is, and that was so amazing. I picked it up not knowing. I just bought it just because it was Jams World and it was an XL. I knew that it would sell. Um, when I got home, I checked the print and I was... I'm very very happy to see that okay we're getting down to the bottom here next up is a carhartt just workers jacket i think that's what it's called it's just like a shacket but it is pretty distressed has a lot of holes this is an experiment to see if busted carhartt will sell because i know i know that that's what people are wearing and i know that that's what's in style so i'm just kind of testing the waters to see how this does it has a few quite a few flaws but it's still super cool and i have that one up for 40. next is a new to me brand it's called sarah Serapine, Serapine, Seraphine, Seraphine. Um, they are a maternity brand. And this one is the luxe version, which means it's more of a dressy um, line. And it's a like a tight knit, really pretty maternity dress that you would definitely wear to some sort of formal event. This one's up for 60. They do make more casual dresses as well that do still resell for quite a bit. So this one I have up for 60. That is normally what they are selling for in that 40 to $60 range. Some, some of them even go higher. Um, there were a few that Kate Middleton had wore and those ones were reselling for way more. So definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Um, it's S-E-R-A. I'll post a picture of the tag actually, since you can't really see it on this video. I have no idea what's going on. Um, but next is an LL Bean. This is just a fleece quarter zip pullover, men's size small. Um, this I have up for $24.99. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. And lastly, what do we have here? I don't even remember. Oh. <laughs> This is a cute little Betty Boop t-shirt. It is 1987. It's in pristine vintage condition. It is so cute. I love it. It's up for 60 and it is a size large. 
100% cotton. It's so cute. Some Betty Boop shirts go for quite a bit. The all over print Betty Boop ones are amazing. The ones that um, are from like the 90s, like she's super, you could just tell she's in like her 90s gear. Those ones sell for a lot. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for anything vintage Betty Boop t-shirt wise. They do sell for good money. But that is the end of my haul. Thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. I really appreciate it considering you couldn't see anything that I was showing you. So um, unless magically I was able to fix it, um, that would be awesome. But if not, yes, I appreciate you watching. And yeah, please like and subscribe if you haven't. I will be making another haul video sometime this week and be posting it. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for being here. Bye.